client approached us and they required BIM implementation into their process and their manufacturing steel structures. These prefabricated steel structures are complicated because they have a lot of individual components, they have different strategic partnership with engineers, they have to subcontract it to the subcontractor for assembly purposes. So there are loads of information and communication going on. At the same time, they have to ensure that the budget and the time of the project is reasonable for the project owner. At the same time, architect should be satisfied with the design of the structure. Therefore, in order to visualize everything more accurately and to keep a sustainable supply chain throughout the project life cycle, we established an objective to reach maximum for fabrication, for bedding, and for assembly. And for fabrication, we decided on going through a complex BM components that involve rules and constraints. So we know that these components should be used in a particular method, in a Lego format, so we can quickly bring the whole structure, whole canopies together at the same time. When we have the whole structure, we could share easily the 3D information, 3D model with the architect, with the project owner, so they can visualize how it really fits with their design. So they can provide the feedback, and we can do the respective amendments very quickly, and then the bedding, the code for the, to the project owner can go right away because we'll have the bill of materials, bomb, directly extracted from the um, nested components, and those bomb will be very accurate because all the components that will require to construct this structure will be included in this bomb. And the bidding process to the project owner is accurate and fast, and the risk of the manufacturer is significantly reduced because we know exactly what kind of input we need for that project so he can arrange his supply chain to deliver the project within that time frame and within that budget. For the subcontracting and assembly side, they were getting very high fees because subcontractor found it very complicated. At the same time, a lot of information, and they did not realize how much input they will need to have to deliver for this project. Imagine yourself receiving a drawing package, which is maybe like 20, 25 drawings, and including some engineer drawings, and they are looking at the drawings and there are too many details, too many data. And they were like, okay, how we are going to work? How many resources we will need? How many manpower we will need? Do we need man lifts? Do we need cranes? How many we need? For how long? There were lots of questions. Obviously, the manufacturer was delivering a video for them, but it was still not enough for that particular project. So what we did is we took these nested BIM components and we did a construction simulation. So we simulated the whole workflow that contains the people, contains the resources, and a timeline. So it was clear for the subcontractor how much input he needs to put. And it reduced his risk significantly because everything was transparent. So bidding for assembly was much, much cheaper. As you can see from this example, our objective and goal was different because of our particular purpose, because it was a manufacturer and we had to focus solely on that aspect. Once we established the workflow and the process, we got all the actual lengths through the nested components in Revit. However, we needed additional optional tolerances needed from the shop due to the proper cutting and proper hanging. And then the final cut length bomb was identified. The question was, how do we optimize the stock? And we pretty fast went through a formula, first with decreasing, and we were able to get some good bin and optimized version. However, there was a still certain level of waste occurs in this, with this algorithm. Once we went out of this, with this algorithm, 
And then we wanted to check how can we further optimize it since we have a stock and different sizes. And we want to go something for more full bin theory where we can optimize it to the cross-checking and optimize it to the max and almost have zero waste. For instance, in this scenario, multiple stock lengths can be decided depending on what, what demand we have. If we don't choose the right stock items like stock lengths, then there will be additional waste. Right now, we have very little waste in comparison to the first with decreasing. That's really important. In order to put to this formula to the next level, we are actually adding additional rule set where we say if it's less than 10 inch, do not include it as a waste. So it has to be more than 10 inch waste or no waste. Therefore, it's really important and it can be further optimized. So we can add certain rule sets as an additional um, optimizing the waste. And it's really getting complicated. The script is over here. It's a little bit messy. I'm sorry for it. That is, it looks really messy right now, but we'll be adjusting it and it will be more clean and neat after it's done. Our, currently, we are the algorithms, we are playing with it still. It's not finally done, but we are almost there. I will be updating you with the progress of the script. So stay tuned and keep watching. We'd like to learn more about what kind of value BIM can bring to your project practice. Let's click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to publish at least one educational content for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.